Ahead of the U.S. presidential elections, immigration policy and inflation are among the key issues likely to influence the voting preferences of the Telugu-speaking community in the United States. Many members of this community work in the tech industry and are particularly affected by H-1B visa policies and green card backlogs. From an immigration standpoint, I'd like to see that uh, whichever government is being formed here, I'd like to see that the immigration policies are relaxed a little bit and that uh, they make it easier for the legal immigrants to be able to um, go back and forth to their home countries and back easily without, without having much issues with the immigration. People who come legally go through a lot of uh, stress in the process um, uh, other than the people who come illegally. So I am just looking forward to a government who is going to really um, impose good policies in place so that uh, legal folks who are paying taxes from day one uh, get the benefit of uh, a green card quicker. For some members of this community, the high prices of essential food items is another important issue affecting their lives. Whoever is going to be the president and the members, we want them to be treating all the people equally and take care of them both financially and uh, food-wise and all. Recently, the food prices have gone so high, it's becoming very difficult to maintain a house. So I wish whichever government comes in, they'll care, take care of all these social problems. According to some studies, the population of Telugu-speaking people in America has grown fourfold from 320,000 in 2016 to over 1.2 million in 2024. It is now the third most spoken Indian language in the country, making this community an increasingly influential voting bloc in the U.S. elections. Recent polls suggest a tight race between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris for the White House. The U.S. presidential elections are scheduled for November 5th.